Uh, yesterday's uh, test flights went pretty good. The plane wasn't pulling up as good as we thought it should be. It was kind of nosing down. So Paul came up with the idea of adding a couple Vortex generators on yesterday and it seemed to help it out. So I made another modification today. Um, I added some more Vortex generators on the wing to help give it more control. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, test it out right now and see how it flies. Hopefully this will help solve the problem. Get a pretty flat range check. Looks all good. Does it? Looks like she's cruising. How's it handling? Is it handling better? Yeah. Yeah, dude, I think it worked, man. I think you put the vortex generators on the bottom, you yeah, even it out. You might be getting unequal uh, effort on wing pressure. So got now it. it's lifting up, dude. It's got the, the vortex generators are actually working on the top, so it's giving it, and I had up trim in it yesterday. Oh, so it's actually so keeping it on there. Working. That's, that's telling me that's working, because yesterday I had to pull it's up. It's keeping on the, the air on the wing. wing. Now, even at slow flight, it's nosing up. Flies good though, man. I love it. Oop. Oh, <laughs> you said it this time. <laughs> Your See what works. I mean, man? <laughs> Never ever say it's flying good. <laughs> I don't know. Is that anything damaged? Not really. Doesn't look like it. EPP bulletproof plane. <laughs> That's the bulletproof plane for you, man. Gotta love EPP. It's definitely for beginners <laughs> and novices. Go for it. Hope there's no juice left. Nah, you should be fine. Go for it, man. <laughs> Looks like she's fine. No damage done, my brother. Okay. Oh, <laughs> cartwheel. And still not flaring up plane. Still good. I'm gonna start cartwheeling. You came in crooked. <laughs> Here we go, man. EPP for me all the way. <laughs> Alright, now it's Paul's turn to try the new plane. Snap roll like crazy. Good <laughs> roll. Yeah. Definitely likes to level itself out there. That's cool. Dang, that thing's crazy, man, like a top. Yeah, I think if you do something with the colors, I'm having a very hard time. Yeah, I'm definitely going to put more yellow on the top. Yeah, those are just black right now, yeah. huh? Put something on them. Put the yellow on them. Uh-huh. Need something bright. So what do you think over yesterday, man? Good. You think it's better? Oh, oh, oh. oh shit. <laughs> that I was a cockpit. I lost which side was which. <laughs> That's the easy thing to do. <laughs> yeah, man. Let's yeah, go I'm check out the wreckage. These small planes that Frank keeps making. <laughs> they got a problem. This seems uh, familiar walking over here with the camera. Oh yeah, that was the uh, the bullet plane. Oh look at that, the prop's even still there, man. You find the cockpit? Yeah. 
I think we just need to tape it back on. Well, it looks like she's still uh, flopping and flailing around, so. Okay, she looks like she's still good. <laughs> All you have to do is uh, tape the canopy back on, see if it goes up in the air. Okay, yeah, it looks like everything's good. I just lost orientation because it's so small and I'm not used to the small planes. Uh, let's check it back in the air and see if his bulletproof plane is still uh, good to go. <laughs> Hit the trash can! I'm gonna get my hand back on the stick quick enough. That What's funny. that about? Avoid all obstacles, man. <laughs> well, we are definitely testing out this EVP foam today, man. Not to mention yesterday's tree crash. We good, man? All right, man, as you seen, the plane hit the trash can and put a dent in it. Yeah. Okay. Um, that was pretty hard. Yeah. Well, that was an unintentional um, test of the bulletproof plane. I didn't get my hand back on the stick quick enough to pull it back up, and I hit the trash can, but it looks like it's still in pretty good condition. Um, I did break one of the servo control arms, um, but I think that's all we have to do is replace that, and I think it'll probably be good to go. That and glue one of the like vortex generators back on. Yep. All right, I replaced the servo arm. Took me about five minutes or so to do it. Getting ready to throw it back up in the air. See how it goes. Yeah, baby. <laughs> We're good to go. Pull through the plane. <laughs> It's starting to get dark though, man. I might have to turn it again. Rolling to the, to the right. Whoa, last year. Oh, Tried to do a split S, didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> well, looks like it's getting his full-on crash testing today. <laughs> okay, this is the difference between a bulletproof plane and a non-bulletproof plane. I had a control arm failure and uh, I killed my F-22 with one little crash. It wasn't, it wasn't nearly going half as quick as a uh, French bulletproof plane. But uh, that's no big, that's only few dollars worth of uh, foam board and I can rebuild another one. <laughs> I got the banana for an end. Yeah, you got the banana plane now, bro. <laughs> it's all good. I live to fly another day. <laughs> <laughs>